Hi, hello, welcome to our new video. Now I am going to talk about the examination pattern and assessment criteria and the model question paper discussion that is based on updated INC syllabus. Before going to the video, for getting more nursing related videos, subscribe our channel and enable the bell notification. We are going to talk about the exam and its purpose that the students have to write every year or every semester. We have discussed about the eligibility criteria in the previous video. If you have any doubt, don't forget to watch that video. I will add the link of that video in the description box. Alright, in the first semester, students need to appear three examinations. However, they have only two university exams and another one is communicative English will be conducted by the college itself. It's carried 25 months. Regarding the first semester university exam, there are two university exams that are applied anatomy and applied physiology. Second one, applied sociology and applied psychology. Both of these exams are conducted in 100 marks. 75 you get through the theory examinations which has 3 hours duration. 25 marks through the internal assessment. The internal marks of the nursing foundation 1 theory and the practical in the first semester will be added to nursing foundation 2 theory and practical respectively in the second semester. Examination pattern and the model question paper I will explain in the end of the video. Then about the second semester, practical examination will start from this semester onwards. Here students have two university exam, mark and the time distribution same like previous year. Second semester exams are applied biochemistry and applied nutrition and dietetics. Nursing foundation 1 and health or nursing informatics and technology has internal exam that is out of 25. Regarding the practical examination, internal marks carry 50 that means each semester 20 25 and 25. University exam will give maximum 50 marks and the duration of the exam is 3 to 5 hours. I think you understand all these things. You will find it easy when you have to start learning. Let's see what things are in the third semester. In third semester, two university exams that are applied microbiology and infection control including safety. Second one, adult health nursing one. Their mark distribution is same as like uh, we said earlier, like 25 internal plus 75 external and total 100. In addition, adult health nursing one have practical examination. The internal marks of pharmacology 1 and pathology 1 and genetics in the third semester will be added to the pharmacology 2 and pathology 2 and the genetics in the fourth semester. In fourth semester, professionalism, ethics and professional values is an internal subject. Therefore, examination will have conducted from the college. Next, pharmacology and pathology 1 and 2 and the genetics Next, adult health nursing 1 are the university examination and which is conducted out of 100. Fourth semester, practical examinations is for adult health nursing 2. Regarding the fifth semester, that means the beginning of the third year, we can check the subject. First one, community health nursing 1 including environment science and epidemiology. The next is educational technology or nursing education. Apart from that, one more internal topic is there that is introduction to forensic nursing and Indian laws. But in this semester, community health nursing 1 have practical examination. Internal marks of child health nursing 1 and mental health nursing 1 of the semester 5 will be added to child health nursing 2 and mental health nursing 2 in both the theory and practical respectively of semester 6. So, in the 6th semester, students have 3 theory exams and 2 practical examinations. Let's check the theory examination, child health nursing 1 and 2, mental health nursing 1 and 2, nursing management and leadership. Score are same like we mentioned earlier, child health nursing 1 and 2 and the mental health nursing 1 and 2 have practical exams. About the 7th semester, Exams are Community Health Nursing 2, Nursing Research and Statistics. Next is OBG Nursing 1 and 2. Internal marks of midwifery 1 theory and the practical in the semester 6 will be added to midwifery 2 theory and practical respectively in the semester 7. 
practical exams are community health nursing 2, midwifery, obstetrics and gynecology nursing 1 and 2. Regarding the 8th semester, it's a complete internship program, internship time. So students get exposure in different areas like community health nursing, adult health nursing, child health nursing, mental health nursing and OBG nursing. So far we have been talking about the subjects in each semester. I hope it's clear for everyone. If you have any doubt, just drop a comment on the comment box. Next, I am going to talk about the grading performance. In the last video, we mentioned about the UGC guidelines. If you haven't seen the video, I put the link in the description box. Watch it while you have time. Based on the performance, each student shall be awarded a final grade at the end of the semester for each course or subject. Absolute grading is used by converting the marks into grade based on the predetermined class intervals. UGC 10 points grading system is used with the pass grade modified. Grading system determined by using the alphabet. The alphabet O represent outstanding and which needs 100 percentage mark. Then the alphabet A plus that is excellent. Grade point is 9 and the percentage of mark is 90 to 99 point 99 percentage. A means very good which have 8 grade mark and 80 to 89.99 percentage of mark. Then B plus that indicate good. Grade point is 7 and the percentage of mark is 70 to 79.99 percentage. B is above average which carries grade point of 6 and 60 to 69.99 percentage. Next, alphabet C that represent an average score and the grade point is 5. For nursing course and all other courses, pass is at a C grade. That means 5 grade point, 50 percentage and above. For communicative English and some elective modules, pass score is P. That means P grade, 4 grade points. P grade means 4 grade point, 40 percentage and above. So far we are talking about the examination in different semester and the grading performance. Now we are going to say about model question paper for each subject with the question paper pattern. Of course it is very useful for the nursing students and the faculty members because this is the first time BSc nursing students are going to attend such exams. First of all, let's take a look at the first university exam in the first semester. As we know, it's in anatomy and physiology. It's divided into section A and applied anatomy and the section B applied physiology, which carries 37 plus 38 equal to 75 total score. I will tell you about the types of question in each section. Previously, we had long essays, short essays and short answers. But this semester system also adds multiple choice questions. That means MCQs. That means a section A applied anatomy consists of 6 MCQ questions. Each one carries 1 mark. So, total is 6. And there is an essay question for 10 marks. Total 3 short answers and each one have 5 marks. So, 3 into 5 equal to 15 marks. Another type of question is very short answers. It may be differentiate or list the following or give reasons. These three questions and two marks for each. So total is six mark. Finally, section A can score maximum 37. Let's discuss with the model question paper. We collected this question papers from Kuhas. All right, in the left side, you can see the question paper. Explanation about the anatomy. Okay, this is about the first semester one, first university exam that is applied anatomy and applied physiology. You can see this uh, question paper here. So, first of all, we need to read the instruction. Before writing every examination, you have to read the instruction carefully. So, look at that. Time is 3 hours and the maximum mark is 75. So, the instruction first is write section A and B separately. So, section A means applied anatomy which is carry 37 mark and the section B applied physiology which carries 38 mark. Okay. So, next instruction do not mix up questions from section A and section B. Answer all question. Do not leave any blank pages between answers. Next is indicate the question numbers correctly for the answers in the margin space. 
next instruction answer all part of single questions together the last one is very important especially anatomy and physiology microbiology because if you are draw any diagram definitely you can score more draw the neat diagram wherever necessary so next we can check the questions the first question of for applied anatomy is multiple choice question mcq question so choose the most appropriate answer from the options given here total six questions are there we can just read the first question femoral artery is the continuation of dash artery so here they given four examples uh, or uh, four answers we need to choose the right answers okay the answers are a option a external iliac b popliteal c internal iliac d is external pudendal so femoral artery is a continuation of dash artery so we know that it is an external iliac okay the second question we just to look the second question the same like multiple choice the anatomical landmark for pudendal nerve block is ischial tuberosity pubic tubercle and ischial spine and rectum mostly the option is c so if you feel that is the right answer just write option c and the name itself okay then third question pubic symphysis is dash type of joints which type of joint is pubic symphysis that is the question so here also four different options are there option a primary cartilaginous b fibrous c synovial last one is fibrocartilaginous so which is the most appropriated answers you can select that i think it is d fibrocartilaginous so you can select option d okay same like six questions are there read the questions carefully along with the answers and find the answers okay then second type of questions is essay so this type of question maybe you are very familiar with that so this essay question only one essay question enumerate the parts of elementary canal and describe stomach in details okay this is a common questions okay so it's carry 2 plus 8 10 marks so this two marks for enumerate the parts of elementary canal and eight mark carries describing the stomach in details okay first of all you read the question carefully and based on the question and their mark distribution how to write the answers on the answer sheet okay so that is essay type question so we discuss about the multiple choice question essay question and the next one is short notes short notes three short notes are there three half five marks so each one carry five marks so total like three into five 15 marks so these questions is pituitary gland ninth one urinary bladder right atrium this is also common questions okay uh, so next type of question is differentiate between okay this is a short question short question may be differentiate between or give reasons or write the following any any one of the questions you may get so this is differentiate between this also how three questions each one each one question carry two marks total six marks so trachea and bronchi differentiate between trachea and bronchi if it is needed you can draw the diagram itself okay and uh, separately write it in a table then cardiac muscle and skeletal muscle cerebrum and cerebellum okay these are the questions in applied anatomy so total maximum mark you can uh, you can score 37 okay that is the section a okay this is the sec section b question paper applied physiology which carries total 38 mark so here also you can see multiple choice question essay question short notes and short answer questions okay let's see the first is multiple choice question in the section a we have only six question here total seven question is there so seven into one total seven marks so choose the most appropriate answers from the options given all right the first question is the main excitatory neurotransmitter in center nerve system is here also four options are there dopamine acetylcholine GABA glycine so which is the most appropriate answer you can select that mostly it is GABA then next is normal cardiac output is option A 130 ml B 70 ml C 4.5 liter per minute okay then uh, last uh, last option is 5 liter per minute okay that may be the last option is the answer okay same like total 7 questions are there that is a multiple choice next is essay question so here we have to remember the mark distribution 1 plus 6 plus 3 equal to 10 
define blood pressure how is bp regulated and a note on hypovolemic shock so the definition of blood pressure with uh, which carries one mark and the bp regulation you will get a six mark and not on hypovolemic shock have total three marks a total 10 for this essay question next three short notes three into five total 15 marks okay that is secondary hemostasis hemostasis means uh, it is a cessation of bleeding from the blood vessel okay 10th is cardiac conduction pathway uh, 11 is auto regulation of renal blood flow and gfr gfr means glomerular filtration rate next last short note question is give reason for following okay last uh, in applied anatomy we got a question like that differentiate between okay differentiate between so here we will get give reasons for the following three questions are there three questions each one carry two marks and a total six this is about the question paper and a discussion about applied anatomy and applied physiology the second university exam model question paper please note this is a model question paper only so this is applied sociology and applied psychology maximum mark is 75 section a is applied sociology which carries 37 and section b applied psychology total mark is 38 so here also time duration is three hours three hours is for both sociology and psychology and the maximum mark is 75 so here also instructions are there don't forget to read the instruction carefully just to look at that write a section a and b separately do not mix up questions from section a and section b answer all questions do not leave any blank pages between answers indicate the question numbers correctly for the answers in margin space answer all part of a single question together draw neat diagram wherever necessary so here let's move on to the section a that is applied sociology here you can see multiple choice question total six multiple choice question is there so we are already mentioned about how to write multiple choice questions and the answers here choose the correct answer from the options given below okay six question is there total six six mark then essay question seventh question is define culture explain it characteristics and impact on social impact on health and disease so here 2 plus 3 plus 5 total 10 mark again short notes are there three short notes nature and scope of sociology ninth one personal disorganization then tenth one explain the origin and characteristics of indian caste and sister so these are the repeated repeatedly asking questions okay last last type of question is list down the following three questions are there four types of family based on marriage four fundamental rights of an individual and third last question is four types of social organization this is about applied sociology so next part section b applied psychology total 38 mark here multiple choice questions are seven here also choose the correct answer from the options given below okay then next type of question essay I will read the question, define motivation, explain the concept and the types of motiva motivation. So 2 plus 8 carry total 10 marks. Short note, short note also, three short notes is there, types of conflict, importance of women empowerment in society. Last question, defense mechanism and its implications. Okay, that are the short notes. Each short notes carry 5 marks. Okay, next is, next type of question is list down the following. Three questions are there, four factors affecting attitude, four warning signs of poor mental health and four types of learning. Each question carries two marks and a total six marks. Okay, this is about the question paper pattern in the first semester. Only two university exams are there and we discussed about both. If you need any additional information or more question paper models, please write it on the comment box. I'm really nice to speaking with you. Thank you for watching. See you on next video. Bye.